of the sea to every nation. Great is our God and He. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. So sing, for we are God's people, for He has shown us His way. He gathers us to His table to partake of His grace. Come, come let us sing to every nation, Wait is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation, Lift up your hearts and sing. Wave this our God and King. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. In the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and to ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, Scripture can find all things under the power of sin. That true faith in Jesus Christ, the promise might be given to those who believe. Before faith came, we were held in custody under law, confined for the faith that was to be rebuilt. Consequently, the law was our disciplinarian for Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a disciplinarian. For true faith, you are all children of God in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free person. There is not male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, heirs according to the promise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Sing to him. Sing his praise. 
proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his name, rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please all stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breast at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Mass of Minor Basilica and National Shrine of Jesus Nazareno at good morning po sa inyong lahat. Our gospel for today is the continuation of yesterday's gospel. And kahapon, Jesus was able to silence those who are criticizing Him na siya ay nagpapalayas ng demonyo dahil kay Beelzebul o sa pamamagitan ni Beelzebul. And this woman probably find him very eloquent and really good in speaking. Ano? Napabilib siya. Kaya nakapagsabi itong babae na mapalad ang iyong ina. Not exact words, pero yun yung ibig niyang sabihin. And it's also natural for us Filipinos yung ganitong attitude, no? Kapag ka merong bata na ang galing-galing, kapag ka merong bata na merong achievement, ang nasasabi natin, ang galing-galing naman, siguro proud na proud sa iyo ang yung magulang. Ang galing naman ng batang ito, siguro ang saya-saya ng magulang mo. Ang swerte naman ng magulang mo. Well, ang sinasabi dito sa atin ng ating Ebanghelyo, Although the Blessed Mother has the privilege of being the Mother of God, ang sinasabi sa atin ng ating Panginoon, Blessed rather are those who hear the Word of God and observe it. Of course, speaking of Mama Mary, di ba? Talagang mapalad si Mama Mary dahil naging anak niya ang ating Panginoon. But her blessedness goes beyond being or having the privilege of being the mother of Jesus Christ. Dahil mas naging mapalad ang ating mahal na ina, hindi lang dahil siya ang naging ina 
ng ating Panginoon. Dahil unang-una, mapalad siya dahil nakinig siya sa salita ng Diyos. Nangyari yun nung dumalaw nung pinuntahan siya ng Anghel Gabriel. Na nung sinabing, bukod kang mapalad sa babaeng lahat dahil kinalugdan ka ng Diyos. Nung sinabi ng ating mahal na Birheng Maria na ako ay alipi ng Panginoon, mangyari nawa sa akin ang iyong salita. Nung sinabi niya yung yes, yung binigay niya ang kanyang oo sa plano ng Diyos, yun, yun yung naging dahilan kung bakit mapalad ang ating mahal na Birheng Maria. Mapalad siya hindi lang dahil tinanggap niya ang pagiging ina ng Diyos, pero mapalad siya dahil unang-una sinunod niya ang kalooban ng Diyos sa kanya at nakinig siya sa salita ng Diyos. At yung kanyang pagpayag, yung kanyang oo sa ating Panginoon ay hindi lang nung sandaling iyon. Dahil pinanghawakan niya ang pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos hanggang sa kahuli-hulihang sandali ng kanyang buhay bago siya iakyat o hanggang sa iakyat siya sa langit. Yung oo niya na natili yun kahit nung nawala na, kahit nung nawawala ang ating Panginoon nung bata siya at hinanap niya nung tat, hinanap nila nung tatlong araw. Yung oo yun na natili yun kahit nung nakabayubay na ang ating Panginoon sa krus. Yung oo yun na natili yun kahit sa patay na katawan ng ating Panginoon ay nakahandusay sa kanlungan ng ating mahal na Birheng Maria. And this kind of obedience, at ito yung klase din ng pagkasunod at klase ng pagtitiwala na inaasahan at pinananawagan sa atin. Lahat tayo mga kapatid may kanya-kanyang blessing. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang pagpapala. Lahat din tayo may kanya-kanyang privileges sa buhay. Siguro may nakapagsabi sa atin, ah, mapalad ka kasi meron kang ganito. Mapalad ka, swerte mo naman kasi may anak kang ganyan. Ang swerte mo naman kasi may ganito kang trabaho. Ang swerte mo naman kasi meron kang ganito mga pagmamayari. Oo, lahat yan privileges natin. Oo, lahat yan pagpapala sa atin. Oo, lahat yan dahilan kung bakit pwede tayong tawaging mapalad. Pero pinaaalalahanan tayo ng ating mga pagbasa ngayon. Ang tunay na pagiging mapalad ay wala talaga sa kung ano ang meron tayo. Mapalad tayo kung ano man yung meron tayo sa buhay, pero mga secondary na lang yan. Pero matatawag tayong tunay na mapalad kung tayo ay nakikinig sa salita ng Diyos. Matatawag tayong tunay na mapalad kung tayo ay sumusunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Siguro sa mata ng ating kapwa, sa mata din natin, matatawag tayong mapalad kung meron tayong mabagay, kung meron tayong mga bagay na kung ano-ano sa standard ng mundo. Pero lagi nating tatandaan, kung hindi natin napapansin yung mga bagay na itinuturing natin na pwedeng tawaging tayong mapalad, kung meron tayong bahay, lupa, properties, kotse, anak na graduate ng maraming course, oo, mapalad tayo dahil sa kanila. Pero kung titingnan natin ang lahat ng mga bagay na ito, hindi mananatili. Lilipas din kasabay ng panahon. Pero bakit nga ba mapalad tayo kung tayo ay nakikinig at sumusunod sa kalooban ng Diyos? Kasi yung mga pagsunod natin sa kalooban ng Diyos ay something na hinding-hindi lilipas. Something na hinding-hindi mabubura sa isipan at kalooban ng Panginoon natin. Kaya nga doon natin makikita talagang mapalad tayo kung tayo ay sumusunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Kaya sa pagpapatuloy ng ating buhay, tignan natin yung halimbawa 
ng ating mahal na Birheng Maria. Naging mapalad siya hindi lamang dahil naging anak siya o hindi lamang dahil naging anak niya ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Dahil unang-una, naging mapalad siya dahil nakinig siya sa salita ng Diyos at sumunod siya sa kalooban ng Diyos hanggang sa kahuli-hulihang sandali ng kanyang buhay. At nawa, bigyan tayo ng grasya ng Diyos na magkaroon din ng ganong klase ng pagiging mapalad. Nawa, ang bawat isa din sa atin ay magkaroon ng pagsunod na hindi nagmamaliw, magkaroon ng pakikinig na hindi napuputol hanggang sa dulo ng ating buhay. Nawa, lagi tayo makapagsabi sa Panginoon ng oo natin. Amen. Please all stand. Inspired by Mary's faith and courage, we bring our needs before God the Father. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That under the patronage of Mary, the leaders of the church may bring God's people closer to God by their preaching and example. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Mary, we may welcome the word of God into our hearts and respond to it with generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That following the example of Mary, mothers may make their homes dwelling places of love and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may look with compassion on the sick with the help of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the dead may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of Mary and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, you chose Mary to be the mother of your Son. Help us through her intercession that we may treasure the memory of your Son's death and resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated. As we offer this bread and as we bring you this wine, Bless them, Lord Jesus, feed us now, give us life. Send us your Spirit, the source of our lives, and together we will serve you with love. Together, we will serve you with love. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by Your commands and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which You are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, therefore He has been exalted above all things. And to all who obey Him, He has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that, part, that, bless, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we, we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Paul. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Para sa lahat ng tatanggap ng banal na kumunyon, Sasagot po tayo ng amen pagkasabi ng pario ng lay minister ng katawan ni Kristo. At isubo agad sa bibig bago umalis sa harapan ng pari o lay minister. Sumunod po tayo. My hope and my strength, you guide me and embrace me with your love. You give your life to save me from sins. Jesus, my Savior, my Lord, I will proclaim that you are my God, the God of mercy, the giver of life. I will submit my life to you, serve you with all of my heart. You are my hope and my strength. You guide me and embrace me with your love. You gave your life to save me from sins. Jesus, my Savior, my Lord. Guide me each day to 
turn now to love I am your servant and you are my king I offer to you my heart and my mind Use me, Lord Jesus, my God. You are my open, my strength. You guide me and embrace me with your love. Give your life to save me from sins, Jesus, my Savior, my Lord. Jesus, my Savior, my Lord. announcement Available na po ang ating mga souls envelope Sa mga nagnanais maari kayong kumuha na malapit sa mga pintuan ng ating simbahan o sa information guard Isulat lamang po ang mga pangalan ng mga kamag-anak kaibigan at mga kakilalang na mayapa o sumakabilang buhay na at sa buong buwan ng Nobyembre, ito po ay ating isasama sa lahat ng mga misa na nagaganap sa ating simbahan. Muling inihahandog ng ating simbahan ang Nazareno Medalyon. Mabibili po ito sa ating Paris Finance Office. Ito po ay nagkakahalaga ng 25 pesos. Ang malilikong po ay gagamitin sa pagsasaayos ng electrical system ng ating simbahan. Pagkatapos ng misa, wiwisigan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig. Pinakikusapan ang lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar. Tanging sa Quezon Boulevard o sa Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat. Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Minor at Pambansang Dabana ni Jesus Nazareno. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we receive, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed are you, O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow him generously, faithfully, and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditional love for us at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, the youth, and those in most need of your mercy. Hear our humble petitions. Bless also these religious articles that we may be fervent in prayer and charity. 
As we continue our journey as your pilgrim people here on earth, may we set our hearts on the road to heaven, our true home and sweet reward, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Padre Jesus Nazareno Sinasamba ka namin Pinipinto ka namin Aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan Gusto Padre Jesus Nazareno, idiktas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mo inamatayan ay sa bisag ng amin kalhi kasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno. Inarangal ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Inulwal ka ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Inarangal Anamin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Inuluwal hati Anamin